It's really not so much relieved in the sense that, as I said before, I was always confident about the outcome, but it certainly has been very frustrating to have gone through the the process of the general meeting and then had this period of inactivity where I had to sit in the sidelines when I felt that you know there was some stuff had to be done, so I'm delighted that it's finally out of the way and I can now get my feet under the table. When do you become chairman? Yeah, that should happen on Friday at the first board meeting. At the moment, I have been appointed a director um, and we'll have our first board meeting following that appointment uh, tomorrow. We, we don't know the amount of cash yet. Um, if you were to ask me... The best I could really honestly say is I still think it'll be substantial. You know, we are in the process of going through the budgets at the moment. Um, it's very, very clear that the club will need, um, I think, fairly substantial funds in the short to medium term to bridge the revenue gap while we kind of get back to the Premier League. Um, the exact amount and the timing will depend to some extent on what happens over the next week. Yeah, I think ultimately he will be out of the picture. I think right now he's put money into the club and, and, and I think the club should be grateful for that because without the five million loan, you know, the club would have had some difficulties. So I think the money was, uh, was important to the club at the time, under the circumstances of the club at that time. But given the change circumstances of the club where we are not trying to shrink the club, we're not trying to run the club as a, as a minor club in Scotland. You know, we are determined, and, and the reason we are here is to take the club back to where it naturally belongs. And it's in that context, I think, that we have to change the relationship.